Hey everybody, we're back with take two since the batteries went out. Back here with uh, Larry Phillips, our uh, illustrious general manager over at the Coffee Bean next door. And Larry, we were we were having such a good conversation before, so let's just pick it back up. Tell everybody where you've been for the last two weeks. Uh, it was my 13 year anniversary, and my wife and I took a week off together. Uh, so and we, did you eat any like really healthy food? Cookies are healthy. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me how you did. Uh, well. What we did is that like we stayed in a hotel for two or three nights, and um, we also went to an amusement park. And for the most part, I was off my, I don't like to call it diet, but my life changing. And um, I pretty much ate whatever I wanted to eat. Uh, I had a lot of desserts where normally I wouldn't have ate so many desserts. And I pretty much splurged. I mean, I figured it was my one year, or my 13 years anniversary, and I waited a whole year for this. Hey, and so now what happens usually when people go on vacation? I would say they probably gain maybe five pounds and don't feel the best when they're done. <laughs> All right. And you want to just tell everybody how you did? and Because uh, we just did you know, hold your sheet up there. Let's, uh, let's, what does that thing I say? I lost a pound. <laughs> 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 That's pretty good, huh? Yes. Well, you know, um, uh, today is really about uh, talking a little bit about taking control of some of the unhealthy habits and kind of the food triggers. And so that was the first thing. I mean, tell everybody out there, you know, what your biggest trigger is, you know, before and then how you're dealing with that now. Well, I know like stress is a, is a big one. Like, you know, obviously we all eat when we're stressed out, but it's also being bored. One, hmm. um, I'm trying to stay more active and um, when I'm not or I where I want to eat more, I just have healthier foods in my house. So, Okay, and we talked about uh, kind of breaking that, that chain a little bit, and you just said having healthier foods in your house. Um, what about, you know, uh, are you really hungry? The little relationship yeah, a, with you a, and your stomach. Yeah, that's a big one. A lot of times, you know, like I feel like I'm hungry, and then all of a sudden, like I think, like, or I wait five minutes, and all of a sudden I'm not really as hungry as I thought I was. And what's really surprising to my wife and I is that when we do eat, we're not as or actually we get fuller faster so in other words our stomachs have actually shrunk inside and I don't gorge myself like I mean right now like you want to be in that happy medium you don't want to be too hungry and you want to be obviously too full because both of them are unsatisfying yeah how are you um, one of the big things I think in our lesson this week was getting social support so how, who's supporting you at work? How's, how's your wife, your kids? Who's really supporting you? How's actually, that helping you? Actually, everybody. I mean, there's nobody who's not supporting me. And, and how are they supporting you? Uh, by basically asking me how are things going, by holding me accountable. Um, the main thing I think that you need to do is make time for yourself. That's more important than anything else. Like, I like to fish a lot, and mm -hmm. I do, do two different kinds of fishing, like I was telling you earlier. I fish with people on a boat, and I also go float tubing, where I'm out there by myself in a float tube, just thinking about things and relaxing and looking at nature. Yeah, this is really, really important is, I, I call it putting your own oxygen mask on first. You know, when you get on an airplane, they always tell you to, to do that first, right, before right. taking care of a loved one. Right. And, you know, you take care of a lot of employees, a lot of people. So, you know, tell us how else you, you know, like to take care of you first now that you've gotten this kind of shift and change in your life. Well, the way I like to take care of myself, like I said, is just by staying active and, and, and feeling better about myself. Um, again, who doesn't want to feel better about themselves? That's just that's just a given. And um, the positive feedback back that I've been getting from my friends and my family and coworkers and employees and you name it, everybody, customers, uh, it's just been positive. I mean, again, who doesn't want to feel good about themselves? So uh, you made a little prediction a couple weeks ago that, you know, the 250s, and you're in the 250s. And so where are we going? Uh, what people are going to see you next week. Uh, give us a little prediction for next week. It's time to ramp it back up. Talk to us. I would like to be uh, at least 255 or lower, and hopefully in two weeks be in my 40s, which, again, I cannot even believe I'm even near the 40s. I never, I have, again, I haven't been in my 40s forever. So we're going to see in the 240s, I think, in the next couple of weeks. And then how, I want one question, because I think a lot of people probably have this question in their own mind. You know, how would you avoid overeating when confronted with situations like parties or stress situations in the future? What have you learned to kind of have around? What would you say to people out there? Well, see, what you want to do is you just want to, like, have, like, a bowl of fruit or, you know, a small meal that's healthy at the house first. And then when you go to the party, you're full, mm. you know, and at the same time, at the same time, stay active and don't just like hang around the food tables, you know, just interact with people, mingle, um, be social. Next thing you know, the party's over and you're on your way home. Right. And so, Larry, you were not that active when you started about uh, nine weeks ago, eight weeks ago. Right. So tell us how that's changed. Again, I'm, I'm sleeping better. I'm, uh, I'm not sleeping during the day as much. Uh, in the past, I'd have to, not want to, have to take a nap every single day 
And my wife pointed out to me the other day that I'm not taking him any naps, and that's great. I mean, wow. That's because you're moving. You're it's walking moving at home. Out. Don't you have a treadmill at home now? Uh, yeah, <laughs> treadmill and a little exercise room that I'm doing at the little gym by our house, and um, it's just great. Good, awesome. Well, listen, uh, I know you got to go, so uh, we will see you uh, next week. Hopefully and 255. 255 is where you're going to be? Yep. All right, we'll see you. All right, thank All right. you. Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs>